In this video, we're going to show you the differences between Reality Paint Pro and Reality Paint Standard. And the, uh, the basic philosophy between Reality Paint Pro and Standard, the, the differences are it's that you can do everything in Reality Paint Standard that you can in Reality Paint Pro. You can just do more of certain things in Reality Paint Pro. And they're mainly geared towards workflow related issues, something that a professional might pay more attention to. But otherwise, you're not limited by any way um, as far as the actual features you can use in Reality Paint Standard. So let me show you uh, where those uh, differences lie. In the manager, we have this whole section of presets, selection presets, brush tile, viewport, tool. Right? And uh, so what these allow you to do are to create presets of these types of things. So let me show you the most, the simplest case here is a viewport preset. So let us just say, for example, we're going to be editing uh, this area around the, the uh, side of the eye here. We're in here and we're going to come back and forth to do this and and uh, do some uh, do some painting in here and it's it's something that we we're working on, on a regular basis so what I'll do is I'll uh, go to viewport presets and I'll say create and uh, now I have a new viewport preset and then I'm going to rename this right I okay and so if I and then navigate away from this and or I save my project and reload it and do a whole number of different things. And I say, okay, I want to go back to that exact perspective. Like not similar, I want that exact perspective I had. I can go to right eye and I can say apply and there I am exactly again. And even better than that, I can uh, right click on apply here when this is highlighted and assign a hotkey. And I'm gonna use the key one for now, there we go. And so again, if you're in the viewport, you're around you hear, I want to go back there, you hit one. Bang, there you go. And you can do this in both Reality Paint Pro and Standard. However, the difference is you can only do three of them in Standard. So uh, in Pro, you can have an unlimited number. So again, this is a workflow-related issue. A professional is doing a complex project, might want to set up a whole bunch of these types of presets. While if you know your, your, your projects are relatively simple, you might just want to use a few of them or might not ever use these features at all. So that's OK. Um, and uh, we also have tool presets. And the same sort of thing. Now, if I have just a paintbrush, uh, retouch, blur, and I might brush to be 20% size, uh, strength at 10, and I want it to be a per polygon cut, um, hidden surface removal, and I want to preserve the fade by angle. So, like, so I want this to always um, have these settings whenever I use this tool. All right. So then I can go to uh, Manager Tool Presets. Make sure that these two options are checked, otherwise they won't be preserved, right? So um, they're deliberately uh, made as options here because you don't always want to associate these with your preset. You might want to be free to use whatever one is currently set. But in this case, I want to, whenever I use it, I want these to be set so they're checked. Simple, okay? So then I create it and I call it My Blur. My Blur. Right? So I'm going to assign this a hotkey. Uh, wait, so highlight that and right click on this apply, assign hotkey, and now I hit the key two. Right? So again, I'm over here, I'm paint, uh, let's just say I've changed my setting. Oops, I've changed my settings. Uh, let's say none, I like uh, and I'm in here, I'm I'm doing something else, uh, and I'm painting here, and I say, okay, I want to go back to that blur brush I set up. I just hit the key two, and there it is. And you can see all my settings are exactly as they were when I made the preset. And I can go in here and blur. Excellent. Right? And again, you can do this in both Pro and Standard. But in, um, in the Standard, you can only have three per project. Okay? And there's also a selection and brush tile. I'm not going to get into all those. Those are a topic of another tutorial on actually how to use these. Uh, but that is the main limitation. And Morph Targets, for example, you, again, you can create three custom mor uh, morph targets for you to edit um, when you're in standard in an unlimited amount in the pro and uh, the display groups as well you can do three display groups um, for hiding and you know making the locking and making them visible whatever and um, in the standard versus pro you uh, you get as many, up to 32 actually that has a hard limit that's a technical reason um, so yes so that is 99% of the, the difference between Rally Paint Pro and Standard. There's one other difference under viewports. 
uh, display mode, uh, display configuration, sorry. Uh, by default, this four viewport, one large is the, is the default uh, configuration, but you usually just see uh, this one large one, that's because it's maximized. But if you click this max restore button, you'll see that you have these three small viewports and this one large one over here. This is your master viewport. All right, that's the default one. And this is all you can use in Reality Paint Standard, which again is more than enough for most people, most purposes. But if you're a pro and you want to say, I want to have uh, two tall viewports one next to each other, um, or I want to have uh, two wide ones, that one's a little weird, but it's fine, uh, three viewports, right? Or I want to have four viewports, all equal sized, right? So then, um, then you have all those options as well. Um, but in any case, uh, in standard, that is all you can do, and that's, again, more than enough for most people. And that really is the difference between standard and pro. So you can do everything in standard, you can do a little bit more of everything in pro. So I hope you found this video uh, insightful and useful, and uh, please stay tuned, lots more videos.